What we're going to talk today, what we're going to talk about today, is the ballot that we're going to be confronted with in November. It's going to be one of the longest ballots you've ever seen. Minimum four pages from the back. In Miami, I understand it's going to be 12 pages because they have a lot of local things on it. Let me tell you what's going to be on the ballot. Everybody knows President's going to be on the ballot. Everybody knows U.S. Senate, the entire Congress, the entire state legislature. Sometimes the Senates are half one year and half another, but because of redistricting every Florida senator is on with the new districts, every Florida member of the House. In addition to which, you have the county races. You have a couple of nonpartisan races. You have merit retention of judges. You have 11 ballot amendments from the state named Nick, labeled 1 through 12. I'll explain that. And you have two county amendments. Can you imagine standing in line behind somebody who hasn't read their ballot or heard anything about it on election day? Lee is recommending to everybody, please vote by mail. Let your polling place be the kitchen table. You can sit quietly, you'll get it 30 to 35 days before the election. If you have any questions, you have time to ask people that you trust what to do. You have time to do research. And the minute you get that ballot in, all those annoying phone calls that you get to come out and vote will diminish. Because the candidates know that you voted already. So if you wait till the last minute, you're going to get the calls all the way through. If you send it in about 20, 25 days before, some of those annoying calls will stop. So we recommend that you do that. And we have the forms here today in case you haven't done it. Now, I know everybody says, are you sure my vote is going to count if I vote by mail? They're the first ones counted. They go into the supervisor's office. Six days before the election, they're allowed to check the signatures on the outside against your registered signature. They put them in a pile. At 7 o'clock on election night, they run them through the county machines. And when you see on the reporting sites, whether it's Channel 20 or the supervisor of election, so many goes to so many, this person, so many goes to the other, no precincts reporting, what do you think that is? So the absentee ballot. So I'm recommending to everybody that you do it. And there are several ways to do it. You can call the office during open hours. They're not open today, so we have forms. You can do it online. Or you can do it by writing it out on a card. It's also available online. The State League has a website called The Florida Voter. Couldn't be more simple. TheFloridaVoter.org. The first two things on the home page are the lease positions and, and a PDF for this. Okay? So you can print them down. You can print them out. You can email them to your friends. You can do whatever you want with them. This, we published 1,500,000 of these. Okay? Throughout the state. Uh, they will be available in libraries in Palm Beach County. They have agreed to take them. We have some in Spanish that are running out as well. If you need Spanish copies, just contact me. If you need a bunch of Spanish copies, leave me your name and I'll make sure you get those. Did you say FloridaVoter.com or .org? No, it's the FloridaVoter.org. And you will see it on the on first page. Right? And it says click here. And it's exactly that. Does that say FloridaVoter.org? Yes. Okay. Is that also where you go to get the uh, registration course? Yes, exactly. Did you take the registration? No, no, no. Please take it. Yeah. We're going to ask this to register for Okay. Oh, gosh. May the members hand out the recommendations to registered voters? No. All right. No. While you're registering voters, you hand out the sheet. Right. Okay. You're not supposed to include, you know, educational services with the other. But if you're asked, obviously, you can answer. But we try to separate the two. And let me tell you something, it's not easy to do this. We, we're, we're all having a very hard time with it. Because a lot of us who have worked on issues for the years are very passionate about our issues. Uh, 
but we also want to be seen by the public as fair and, and thoughtful. And I believe that the answers you get in this sheet are fair and thoughtful, and you might come to the same conclusions that we did by raising them. Yeah, I know and the, the, the league has done this every year. They have a separate publication for the recommendations. Right, and we do, it is available on the website. And, it's available. and I have some with me if you want. Yeah, and it's available, <laughs> available on, on the website. Now, is that published by the education department? No, the, the positions are not published by the education department. The positions are the regular league budget. So now, because remember, we're a lobbying group. Yeah, the thing is, um, would it, for example, if, if I wish to put it in my political club newsletter? Absolutely, take it, steal it. Uh, the, the, the position. Absolutely. Okay, I've done that every year. And, and no last, one's ever questioned you. Oh, okay. <laughs> and last, I know you're doing it. Don't, last year, don't yeah, see you know, it in the know. sky. There's a better yeah. world that's coming. Like tell you why. There's a better world that's coming, don't you see, see, see? There's a better world that's coming, don't you see? When we'll all be union and we'll all be free, there's a better world that's coming, don't you see?